What's going on guys? Today's Hackintosh hardware video is all about the TP-Link TLWDN4800 wireless card. In case you haven't heard of this card before, this is one of the best wireless cards out there for your Hackintosh. This card features speeds up to 450 megabits per second, dual band connections that operate on both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies, as well as three antennas which will really boost your signal strength. Included in the box is the card itself, three plastic antennas, an optional low profile bracket, as well as a Windows software and driver CD. The card itself has a very simple design to it. Other than the three antenna connectors and a status light, this looks like any standard PCI card. It's also worth mentioning that the card requires no separate power connector as it's purely bus powered. Installing the card in your machine couldn't be easier. Simply clear the vacant PCI slot of any screws or protectors, slide the card into any available PCI 1X or PCI Express slot, and secure it in place. Once the card has been secured, install the antennas to the back by screwing them into place. Feel free to adjust the antennas to any position that gives better signal strength or fits the back of your machine the best. With the card installed, fire up your machine and boot into OS X. From the network portion of System Preferences, add the card if it isn't detected automatically. I always make sure that it's visible in the menu bar to allow for easier access in the future. From here, the card will work perfectly, no kernel extensions required. One additional plus to this card is that it supports a broad range of encryptions including WEP, WPA, and WPA2. When running a speed test, I found that I was able to take full advantage of my 30 megabits per second down, 5 megabits per second up connection without any issues. The wireless end capabilities also made streaming video across my home network a breeze. That's about all I have for the TP-Link TLWDN4800 wireless card. For the $35 to $45 price range, this card packs some awesome performance and out of the box capability to boot. It's also nice to have the low profile bracket option for smaller builds. Be sure to let me know what you think of this card right below that like button. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and I hope to see you guys back here soon.